Our team is responsible for developing and implementing the general plan. We analyze rezoning cases. We staff the 15 village planning committees. We're responsible for light rail planning and planning along our light rail corridor, amongst other duties. My name is Samantha Keating. I am the principal planner over the long range planning team and the planning and development department. So all of the planners on the long range planning team are involved with um, both applicants, developers, but also the community members who are potentially impacted by development. So oftentimes the village planners are the first people that somebody will call to get information on a project or a development proposal or a process. So it's really important for all of the members on my team to be accessible and to be able to explain to people sometimes these um, you know, processes that are a bit complicated at times. So my background, I did an undergraduate degree in political science and a graduate degree in city and regional planning. Um, most of the members on my team also have a background in planning from um, different schools across the country. I'm originally from Los Angeles, California. I moved to Phoenix about 12 years ago. I um, have a four-year-old who keeps me busy. Um, in my free time, I work on remodeling my house. I have a house that's from 1930 with lots of things to fix up. So a lot of the time spent on our team right now is looking at the South Central Corridor for the future light rail expansion, working with the community to um, identify what their vision is for the future, and then ultimately put a plan together that will address some of the things that everybody likes to see. So. When we do have future development that comes into the corridor, we're going to have it um, be in a way that the community would like to see it. One of the really positive aspects of being a village planner is working on a project from the very beginning, seeing it in the planning stages, working with the community to develop a project that they really want to see, and then actually see it be built and you know be open and accessible to the public or having people move into that project. So you get to see something from the beginning and see it all the way through the development process. It's like SimCity comes to life.